what's going on, nostrils? Oh. Who's feeling bad to the bone today? I certainly am. Suck. Dr. Magnificent here. Welcome back to the Nashville Nose. Let's do this. <laughs> Rock and roll. This has been a long time coming. I've had this in my collection for a while, but it's been sitting here on my desk unopened for months now. I just hadn't had time to film this, but I'm finally going to do it. We're finally going to talk about the recently released Leather Tabac by Zaharoff, which is a flanker of their signature tabac, which I've been a big fan of for a while now. Mm, one of my usual fall and winter scents right here, and one of my more recent favorite tobacco scents, dare I say, of all time. We're going to see how it stacks up against the brand new leather tobacco. I'm guessing it's probably a very similar thing, but guess what they added? A leather. Leather. And uh, this leather jacket really smells like leather, so I guess we'll see how the leather tobacco mingles with actual leather. A leather. I've been anticipating this one for a while. Let's bust her open. Let's get down to business. I don't got a time to play around. What is this? Sounds kind of soothing, doesn't it? Here is the gorgeous presentation. I love the boxes that they do over at Zaharoff. I mean, George knows how to market himself and he knows how to market his fragrances. I've seen interviews with him. He seems like the nicest guy in the world. Would love to meet him someday. And uh, I'm a big fan of his work and I'm uh, an instant big fan of this brand. Before I open the box though, just take a look real quick at this design on the front. That is just so intricate. You got like leaves, uh, maybe they're tobacco leaves. It's kind of raised up and the front, face feels like leather. I don't know if it actually is leather. Maybe it's like a pleather, but it's got a nice leathery feel to it, to the box. So nice touch. You even got some really cool designs down the side. Honestly, this box looks like a really fancy record box. Like when a band puts out like their entire catalog in one big exclusive collection. That's kind of what it's giving me. It's like Black Sabbath, the entire collection. Ooh, so tough. What does it say on the back here? Oh, and there's a cool little drawing on the back. I think that's actually George Saharoff right there. <laughs> kind of hard to see in the camera because it's so shiny. Yeah, yeah, like all the accents are like this shiny, silvery, foily, reflective material. Except for the front. The front is leathery. So very cool. Cool. Let's look at the bottle. Careful. Ah, ah. All right. Okay. Even the label itself has a leather feel. Again, I don't know if it actually is leather. I'd like to think it is though. Let's just say it is. It's leather. That is another really nice touch. This bottle is wicked, wicked cool. I mean, hats off to you, George. I'm really happy that his brand is doing so well. And it's not surprising if he goes into these nice details. I feel like he does a really good job with his presentation and the overall customer experience. Nice, sleek, black metal cap, diamond shaped, with the little Zaharoff logo right there. It's a very cool logo, actually. It's his Nike swoop. I even love the shape of the bottle. Like I said earlier, it's kind of trapezoidal shaped. And on the back, we got some lions. Lions hanging out, and it says, uh, Laboré Lude. I'll have to Google that later. Maybe I'll put a translation right on the bottom of the screen here. Oh! That's what that means. Thank you, future me. All right, there is your immaculate presentation. Time to diagnose. The doctor is now in. Let's put you uh, on this hand over here. Fire in the hole! Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> oh, three sprays was too much. That was a bad idea. <coughs> I regret that. Oh God, I, I gotta open the door, hang on. Oh my God, oh! <laughs> This thing's a beast, folks. Oh, I really gotta let this one settle down. But yes, I'm getting a lot of leather in the air. Or is it just my jacket? Nope, there's like half a cow in there. I need something more than that. I guess you get more than one use out of the box. This thing's wild. That is pungent. Whoa! I'll tell you what, that is uh, <coughs> a kick in the nose right there. It's really good, but I can't get too close because it's a bit intense still. It's really intense, but that's okay. I like intense. I'm not complaining, okay? I have a feeling this one will perform really well, and I'm happy about that. Oh, wow, that is really, really... Oh, hold on. Oh, that is that is beastly. It's a real animalic leather, but I like it. I'm not getting a ton of tobacco in the open, but I have to really let this thing settle down. I think this is going to take some time. I mean, the oily residue on my hand is just super shiny. So it's left uh, quite a thick sheen on the surface of my skin. So I guess just goes to show that it's a very dense concentration. And that's something I really love about Zaharoff. To my knowledge, I, I believe... Uh, a lot of his stuff performs really, really well. Wow, that is, man, it is extremely masculine, very bold, very pungent, but 
really sexy at the same time. That is just pure power right there. How would Jeremy Fragrance describe this? Power! Yes! Yes! That catchphrase actually makes sense with this one. That is, uh, oof, man, that is a wild animal. Can it be tamed? I don't know. I think it will settle down, but it will probably take a while. So in the meantime, let's take a look at the notes. Oh, and actually the entire title is Signature Leather Tobacco. There it is. It's corrected. We're thorough on this channel. All right, most dominant note. Leather! Yeah! The majority of people smell leather in here. Can't imagine why. Oh, but this is interesting. Obviously, yes, we have the tobacco. Top notes are black pepper, star anise, rosemary, sage, and plum. Okay, I can see there being a touch of plum tucked away in the open. But then in the mid notes, we have birch tar, which makes sense because I believe that most perfumers use birch tar to recreate leather accords. And that just goes to how pungent this leather note is if people are able to detect the birch tar. I like that though, it's a nice smell. Bulgarian rose, myrrh, and cumin, but this is cumin done right. It's not too much. It's not super noticeable. It's probably what's providing that sexiness because yeah, it can be quite sexy if used correctly. And then along with leather and suede in the base, we have oud, praline, frankincense, and honey, which makes sense. If it's a flanker of signature tobacco, this one's really known for its tobacco and honey combo. Just for fun, let's apply this one over here for comparison purposes. Signature tobacco. Mm, yes, this is as close to a perfect tobacco scent as you can get. I love Signature Tobacco. I will always have this one in my collection. Does its newer, younger brother top it, though? I don't know. Okay, here's what not to expect. If you think this is just Signature Tobacco with an extra little added leather note, wrong! This thing, especially as of now, smells like a totally different fragrance. This one's obviously much sweeter, much lighter. The starring rolls are the tobacco and the honey. Whereas I feel like with Leather Tobacco, I'm not getting a ton of tobacco. I think it's absolutely in there. But I feel like the leather and the cumin and the birch tar and the oud are more dominant in this blend. But who knows how it will evolve as it dries down. What do you say we give it a full fair dry down and come back to it? I think that's a good idea. Stay right there. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Oh, we got a wild one. Oh, woo! He fucking, he buck wild! Obviously running out of re-entry ideas. Let's get back to Leather Tobacco. Power! Holy cow, this thing has taken me on quite a journey. Every time I would check on it every few minutes, I'd be like, okay, where are we going, bro? Where are we going? You lead the way, I will follow. This thing is wild. I absolutely love it though. Wow, this one is such a hit, I think, in my opinion. Since it's dried down, I feel like I am getting a little bit more of the tobacco. But you know what it weirdly reminds me of? I get kind of a similar vibe to Interlude Man by Amwaj, which I really love for that oregano note, but Leather Tobacco does not get nearly as sweet as Interlude Man. And as of now, dare I say, but I think I actually kind of like Leather Tobacco more than Interlude Man. Is it blasphemous? Because Interlude Man can get a bit cloying into the dry down as it really sweetens up. But Leather Tobacco hasn't gotten overly sweet. It's a little bit sweeter than it was, probably thanks to the praline, frankincense, and honey, but it remains musky, spicy, sexy, and a little bit smoky, maybe due to the tobacco and oud. The cumin has died way down. The myrrh, I believe, is still hanging out into the base notes. Combined with the frankincense makes it real resinous. And it has lasted a long, long time, and it's still bouncing off the skin pretty good. Performance, A+. Plus. She a beast, and I'm for it. I think it's fantastic. George Zaharoff, you're a genius. Yeah, I really like the way that this one has developed. I'm not gonna lie, in the open, I was a little concerned. Like, uh-oh, have I bit off more than I can chew? But no, it settles down into a smooth leather, some aromatic tobacco, some nice resins, still remaining fairly spicy, and slightly sweeter too, while remaining extremely rugged and masculine. You really gotta love leather, you really gotta love spices, you really gotta love bold and intense fragrances, which I do. So I would say even though it dries down really smooth, it does kind of take a while to get there. The opening might be a bit off-putting for some. So I think you should definitely snag yourself a sample from Zaharoff and snag a whole sample pack while you're at it. Because I think that this and Signature Tobacco are both absolutely worth trying if you're a fan of leather and tobacco, which I am. Well, there it is. Well done, George Zaharoff. You did it again. You made my nostrils tingle in a good way. A really good way. Hey, I'm a fan, and I like your stuff. And if you like my stuff, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel? If you haven't yet, I really think you should. Maybe a bit biased, but hey, 
I'm subscribed. And after you subscribe, if you could hit the like button and ring the bell, maybe the algorithm gods could bless this channel with a fraction of success that George Zaharoff has. And it helps immensely if you share this channel on your socials, text us to your friends and family if they might find this info useful. And of course, I love hearing from you in the comments below. Ask me anything. I just love nerding out about fragrance with you. And tune into the next rad adventure right over here. Stay awesome and stay smelly till I see you. The doctor <laughs> is out.